Yeah, I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. So what's up? So it's locked down and stuck at home. Okay. Yeah. What about you? So how's your how's your break going on from IPL? Yeah, it's pretty good, but you know because of lock lockdown, it's uh, hard to do like full stretch practice and all. Bit stuck. Okay, okay. So the very first question I would like to ask you is that from where have you got this name? Because it's the name of a legendary cricketer, former cricketer. So I think so. Your elder brother gave this name to you. Yeah, I have told this many times. Like my, I have seven elder brothers, and uh, Kamarudin is like my eldest brother. So yeah, he he is like one big uh, die-hard fan of uh, legend Mohammad Azharuddin. So that's how I got this name. Okay. So and how was your few lived days with RCB and sharing dressing room with the skipper, Mr. Three Sixty? How was that experience? Uh, I don't think it's easy to put put into words. It's like uh, uh, it's a good experience and uh, like literally like a dream come true. Two months in my life, it was good yeah. actually. Uh, gained a lot of confidence and experience the way. Yeah. Legend preparing for a game, preparing uh, for a tournament, for a game, and uh, uh, that passion. You no, know, it's all together. It's a good, good, good experience. So, were you nervous being uh, uh, your first time, like in the room with all the legends around? Yeah, uh, to be frank, I was a bit, but uh, like after a week or so, it I felt like it's okay, and. They 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 just treated me like uh, yeah. yeah it it was in a good way so after a week I was comfortable with them okay 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 so uh, actually uh, the next uh, thing which I wanted to ask you is that many RCBians and many people from the RCB squad also were uh, performing so well and fans had the expectations that RCB will win this year so how did you feel when you guys got to know that this IPL has got suspended so do you think that when the IPL res- uh, will resume in UAE the uh, conditions and the pitches or maybe the gap in uh, the gap in between will break the momentum um uh, obviously we felt bit uh, disappointed because we we were doing really well and uh, you know it's very hard to keep that momentum after 3 uh, to 4 months break so yeah we bit disappointed but at the same time we know it will take like one week you know it's just a matter of one week of practice together we'll be back together we'll yeah. Yeah. so yeah Yeah, and how did it all start? I mean, uh, is it uh, from that fairy tale debut which happened in your first class cricket, uh, second fastest century from Kerala player? So it it all started from there. Uh, maybe yes, because it, uh, it this year was my like sixth year of uh, with the senior team, and uh, uh, that that century made all the difference. And yeah, from there yeah. all the IPL thing started. Yeah, this incident where Mr. Shri came to you and he gave you an advice regarding the yeah when you were playing for the domestic uh, cricket. You meant Shri Shand, right? Shri Bhai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shri. Yeah. So uh, he told me like uh, uh, you are not going to change anything in IPL. You are you are playing like the way you played for the team. So there is yeah. nothing going to change, and you have uh, you have a potential to represent for yeah. the country also. So. A, like no, a player like Sri Bai, giving those advice that that obviously gives a lot of confidence and yeah, a lot of confidence and th- that's that's a time it's like what I just realized that I have that potential uh, to represent really represent to India. Yeah, and what one advice which you got from your skipper, Sanju, Bhai. like from the from the RCB, Virat Kohli. Okay. um no uh, we don't have any advice from virat bhai whenever he smiles at, at me it's like it gives everything like confidence and you know, uh, it it took all uh, it took almost many years to meet virat bhai so whenever i whenever i whenever i see him i feel like it's everything i don't know how to express that so we don't yeah. have we don't uh, 
uh, I don't I don't need to get any advice from him. Whenever I see him, I I, I used to get a lot of confidence, and you know many things. Yeah. and uh, i saw some of your pictures standing with anushka ma'am also anushka sharma so it was it like a fan thing meeting her yeah uh, i'm a big fan of virat bhai and also anushka sharma so they are so down to earth i didn't feel anything like they are they're, they are the best in the world i never felt like they whenever i spoke to them they they're like so down to earth that's what i like the most yeah and in fact i saw the bonding uh, of the people like uh, when you were in that story dumpling story i guess there was this game which you had to perform some sort of roles and act like a duckling and you performed with him with his team right yeah 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 that that, that was like my first uh, you know it i never done that before so i was bit tensed but when the virat bhai virat bhai when virat bhai was acting i felt like okay it's okay yeah. easy to act yeah it, it was like one fun thing and we had a good time yeah but mostly you were quiet only you were just acting no <laughs> i had like two or three lines yeah <laughs> that's the only thing i got that day yeah yeah Okay. So, how do you feel like you being uh, from the Kerala team? So, how do you feel that big names are rising from that particular team? Like uh, from your squad, uh, Mr. Sachin Baby was also included, and of course, you presenting, and then so many other people coming in, like Robin Uthappa. So, what kind of impact do it create on all the youngsters and aspiring cricketers? Uh, you know, last. <laughs> uh, last 6 years i have been representing for kerala senior team and there was a huge uh, difference uh, the way it was in 2015 and 2021 so uh, people uh, play, players have changed a lot and the mentality has changed a lot now people are aspiring to represent for the re- represent for the country and uh, the way f- firstly players were thinking in a narrow minded and now it's became like so broad minded uh, and you know i don't know what to say people are so desperate to play for the country and they are you know, from especially from kerala we have like so much talent and we are uh, we have everything but we we were lacking somewhere and last few years were really good and we are uh, yeah absolutely doing well yeah so any message which you want to give to the young cricketers Uh, never play never play to impress anyone just express yourself and be uh, be like uh, be passionate about uh, what you're doing and be genuine and sincere to that that's it okay yep. so with this with this advice of yours we'll be moving to have i ever wrong okay. so i'll ask you few questions and you will have to tell me that you have done this or not okay and if you have then you may explain that incident in few lines okay. never have i ever dated two girls at same time or more <laughs> it's <laughs> really hard to manage one at the time <laughs> i don't yeah. think yeah, never <laughs> so you have that practice of managing one yeah i had many good friends but okay. right i'm pretty serious about one girl you focus on No, right now I am very serious about one girl. Hopefully, I'll. Okay. okay. Never have I ever worn wrong gloves and pants. No. Never. Okay. Is there something like which cricketers usually do that wearing a left pad and then doing going on the right thing? Is yeah. it a practice or is it is it some some sort of superstition? Yeah, superstitious or routine or something. people are do okay. feel to be in uh, their zone yeah. okay so you d- you also have some superstition or just the practice no i don't think it's a practice it's like on superstitious or uh, a routine maybe i used okay. to wear my pad first then my left uh, left pads and right pads like that yeah okay now the second one is never have i ever did a drunken dance no never 
never have i ever lied on being late in training never you've never lied like being late on training no whenever i late i uh, uh, to be honest i i was like honest i was honest. if i was late because of i slept i used to be like slept off sorry uh, that's fine <laughs> okay never have i ever used a fake id to stalk someone yep yes okay. so you have a fake id till now no 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 it, it was like years back 5 to 6 years back I started uh, instagram and all i think before okay. before i was starting instagram yeah. okay so another one is never have i ever bullied my junior no you were sweet with your juniors uh, i didn't get that what is that like never have you bullied someone like your junior or like shouted or bullied someone something yeah. of that sort i was so nice to my juniors always <laughs> okay <Yeah. laughs> So with this, we'll take one or two fan questions because there are somewhere around fifty uh, questions which have come up, and uh, there's this request from your fan. He says, "Sir, can you speak in Kannada, please?" I don't know if you can. Kannada, good, good tilla. Swalpa, swalpa, good to. Okay, what's that? Uh, I I don't know Kannada, but I can understand a little. Okay. and uh, another one is the uh, we'll be taking this as last question what is your expression when you select it for ipo so it, it's like better ask to sanju bhai or akshay chandran or some uh, someone so mm-hmm. i don't know how i was i was so happy i was so excited mm-hmm. and i never hide that it was i was expressing that but i don't know how it was i was oh, so happy no. And I think so. You got a message from Virat Kohli also, no? Just after the auction. Yeah, yeah. Within like two three minutes. Within two okay. three. Okay. So what did he message? Like uh, congratulations, Azhar. Uh, welcome to RCB. Virat here. Okay, okay. And what was your family's reaction? Um, I I was in Vijay Azare uh, camp at Bangalore, so. Yeah. Yeah, uh, brothers and Bobby were so happy. Okay, okay. So uh, with this, we come to an end because there are a lot of questions coming up. Your fan questions are coming up, but we will end this video. And uh, thank you for chatting, and uh, thank you for joining in. I hope you liked it. Yes, I liked it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye. Cheers.